The National Museum Scotland is collecting objects that document present day political, social and cultural change. We search the country looking for material to mark these major shifts, speaking to people about what objects mean to them. Land ownership has been a contentious issue in Scotland for centuries. Today it's estimated that over half of the country's privately owned land is in the hands of fewer than 500 individuals. Community buyouts, such as the recent purchase of the Isle of Ulva, are redistributing Scotland's land with the aim of putting it into the hands of people who live and work in the local area. We are collecting objects that document land reform through buyouts in both Egg and Ulva. These two island buyouts are very different, but their interlinked stories show how policies and attitudes towards land reform have evolved and continue to evolve. The sign, I think, probably more than the scenery, more than anything here, is the most photographed thing when people visit the island. I think it's like the simplicity of it. It's a whiteboard and you unslide it, you slide it over and it's just this red square and that summons the ferry and then when he's coming you slide it back for the next, the next person. So I think that's kind of iconic of Alva and it just kind of sums up the whole place I think. That's part of the whole Alva experience. You have absentee landlords and you have things just being left. And I think that it's important for communities and people living in areas to have a say in what's happening to their homes and to their areas. Because they are the people that are living there 365 days a year and they know, they know what that place needs. The moment ownership of Ulva transferred to the community, the door knocker from the Monroe's family home shifted from a symbol of dilapidation and insecurity to a symbol of future regeneration for the island. The door knocker for us, that was kind of my husband Rudy, he actually grew up in the house that we live in now, so that was his family home. And that was always there when he was growing up, that was their door knocker. But it kind of fell off our door a few years ago and it's just been sitting on the windowsill. And it kind of, for him, signified that things fall apart here but they just get left, you know. So for him that kind of signified the whole process of just kind of dilapidation and lack of investing in buildings and homes here. The conversation about the egg buyout began with my friend the crofter Tom Forsyth a way, way back when egg was first put on the market. During the buyout campaign on egg, we had many times when we'd have Kayleys, we'd have parties, we'd have protest you and I would often have the drum with me and I've used it ever since in many different types of campaign especially concerned with land issues to connect with music to connect with our deep culture and the wider cultures of the world. Egg is one of the places that gets into your blood when I first came back it was just to sort of regroup and visit my parents and have a wee think about what I was going to do. The community aspect of it was a real attraction for me. So I came back and ended up doing the farm with my parents. It's nice to see the, the wee folk actually getting stuff done and getting along and the focus being on community and being on green projects, just having a different focus. It was a long, slow process. The shot was in an old corrugated iron building without running water or electricity. And we managed to get the funding to create business units. So we built that building at the pier, which houses three businesses, which are all leased to local people to run as their own businesses. Um, that made a huge difference. And it was also important for us because that were our first project. One person owning the place, you know, if they're a good guy, things can work out. You know, there are estates in Scotland that the owner's sympathetic and, and looks after people or looks after the infrastructure. 
Um, or you can have some somewhere where it's an absence an absentee owner who's doing very little has different ideas than what you have, um, and it just makes life so difficult. You know, going through that whole process again, and maybe another owner who might be all right, who might be terrible. We just decided at some point um, that really the future were, were in community ownership. Population's gone up from 64 back then to over 100 now. There are a lot of young people here now. A lot of people, uh, like my daughter, moved back here. Um, you know, she found the buyout to be an exciting, um, an exciting project, I suppose. And, and that's kind of brought some of our young people back. And I think in particular, if they're thinking about having children, they want the same kind of childhood that they had. Land reform has a huge part to play and it already is playing a huge part in Scottish life and I think it's what Alva has done is kind of put a spotlight on it.